Hello and welcome to a tutorial on finding mandatory disclosures for public companies in the SEC's EDGAR database. So EDGAR is an open and searchable database created and maintained by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. So the SEC requires publicly traded companies, those companies that list and issue shares on a public stock exchange, to submit their annual and quarterly reports called 10K and 10Q, along with other important disclosures about insider trading and press releases, etc. These are called 8K. So you and I, as members of the public, can search Edgar for free, and they are very useful reports when you're doing any kind of company research. So Edgar is open and available on the internet. You don't need a password to, search to access the database. So to access it, you can either put this address in your browser's address bar. I'll put the link in the description. Or if you are starting from the Charles H. Trout Library website, you go to our A to Z databases list. And this list is alphabetical. So you'll find Edgar under E. So if you browse down to E, there's a link for Edgar, and it will take you to this page. So this is the Edgar Company Filings Search Interface, and you can see that you get one search box, so you can search by company name, ticker symbol, or by a person's name. Um, you might be asking yourself, so how do I know the ticker symbol for my company? So finding a ticker symbol is for any publicly traded company is as easy as performing a basic search for that name in Google. So what you would do is search for your company in Google. So I'm going to search for Nike and I'm going to run that search in just a Google search page. Now, when you do a search for a publicly traded company, very often on the right hand side, you'll see a little sort of summary of that company and look for the stock price because that will tell you the ticker symbol. So for the ticker symbol for Nike is NKE. Now, if you don't see the ticker, the ticker symbol or the stock price, it, there could be a number of reasons. One, it could be that your company is not a publicly traded company, so it's a private company. So um, they don't make filings in, in Edgar, so you won't find any information about them in Edgar. It could also be that they are a subsidiary of a larger parent company. So you're going to have to do a little bit of research on your company, maybe check Wikipedia, see if they have a parent company, and then look for the stock these ticker symbol for the parent company and then search Edgar for the parent company. They will list um, subsidiary information in their reportings in Edgar. So let's go back to Edgar and look up Nike by the ticker symbol which is NKE and you'll notice that the database offers some suggestions. It's um, If you're using the ticker symbol it's very often the first suggestion so you can go ahead and click on that and you'll be taken to the result page for um, Nike, the company. So on this result page, you're going to see the latest filings on the left hand side of the screen. And then on the right hand side of the screen, the filings are um, divided up by the type of report. So 8K are reports that have current information, so like the latest press release, um, any disclosures that are important, the company make 8K reports and they file them, and those are here. If you need to see um, old reports, you can view, click on all, view all 8Ks and see the back reports. And again, there, and there's help literature here on how to read these 8Ks. Now, the 10K and the 10Q. So the 10Ks are annual reports once a year, and the 10Qs are quarterly reports issued four times a year. So here you'll see the last uh, three 10Qs and then the last 10K, which was July 20. If you need to see um, back reports, you can click on view all 10Ks and 10Qs, and then you can also click on how to read these 10K and 10Q reports 
Um, it's got a lot of useful information on how to read these and extract the most information possible. So let's take a look at the last 10K for Nike and see what's in these reports. Now these are fairly large documents, so the best way that to navigate them is to use the table of contents. So there's usually a link to the table of contents in the top left corner, like you see here. Now if you don't see it, just scroll down the page. It's just after the, the title page information. The um, table of contents is just below the title page. So in the um, part one, you'll see links to topics like business, general. These are just basic company information. The risk factors is the space where you'll find any weaknesses that the company is facing, and these are self-reported. Um, then if you need financial data, look for uh, headings like financial statements. That's where your financial data will be. Now, what do you do if you get stuck? If you need more help, just reach out to the library. If you go to our website, which I'll link in the description, you'll find information on how to reach us, or you can chat with us if chat is available, and we're always happy to help. Okay, happy searching.